Hello, Slišmo. Živjo, jaz sem Slavko. Moj nam je Slavko. As the nice intro said, I work with a lot of artists producing engineering tricks, impossible stuff mostly also. I was also a musician in my prime and did a lot of art related stuff. So for my presentation, I decided to make a Raspberry Pi based synthesizer. I've had an... Joe, could you put it down for now? Uh, I had an artist friend who had uh, perform audio performances in which she used like multiple MP3 players, playback devices, and then she mixed those on a mixer and she used to have trouble with uh, batteries, with uh, things not working, like buying 20 euro MP3 players and they don't work or uh, in the crucial part of the presentation. So basically I decided I have all of this hardware uh, available and decided to make like an integrated version for her needs and also for me to see um, what I can do. So this is the Raspberry Pi synth and the motivation is to have something hands-on. So basically I work a lot with computers and this work is very like sit down, work, nothing else. And to get a bit away from that I created this uh, beautifully artisan crafted uh, wooden box uh, which uh, which I can touch and uh, do do things with. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't know what I would do, so I basically decided to make a four-track uh, player, and I just started with the user interface, uh, which is like uh, four rotary knobs and eight switches. And uh, from this, I wanted to create something and in the process I created something but there's still room for, for improvement so let me just guide you through the parts I created I created this custom control surface which uh, which is uh, like a cho a choppily soldered on uh, knobs and an Arduino be behind it and this Arduino is connected to the Raspberry Pi uh, which does the actual sound processing so basically, these are the eight uh, rotaries, some switches connected to the uh, Arduino, which is uh, connected by a si serial connection to a Raspberry Pi. And I decided uh, for the Raspberry Pi because I really wanted to, to give the project space to breathe. So an Arduino is a really nice tool. You can do a lot with it. But I decided for uh, future um, expansion, decisions, like v some very nice filtering or advanced equations, uh, a Raspberry Pi is a necessary step. I I'm also using an ex USB sound card. I could use the internal one, which is also nice. Uh, I bought some nice uh, Chinese sound cards, one in, one out, very cheap. Also found this jewel of a sound card for $30 with eight outputs. Oh my God. And uh, one thing that uh, struck me here is, as an engineer, I cannot get my hands on the inside of this easily. I can probably buy like a uh, container load of these chips for millions of dollars probably. But uh, for me to get it, it was easiest just to buy a mass market sound card, which I uh, just stripped the parts I didn't need. And this is the beautiful chip that one little chip that provides basically eight outputs and it's 24 bit and quite high quality so uh, stripping of mass market products is kind of my uh, line of work now I guess uh, and I'm really grateful for the Raspberry Pi people that got this technology into our hands because beforehand uh, for to get such an open product I don't think you can do it as a maker so it is a very exciting time for makers and people that are interested into developing their ideas because we have access, access to such things and we can build whatever we desire beyond what the mass market product products thinks we should use. So, uh, for this prototype, I built just one synth with one thing in mind. Uh, four channels, sample player, and uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, in the last minute, I decided just for one stereo output because it would be easier 
to fit in these wooden blocks. Um, but uh, it is extendable to this uh, eight output sound card. But for, for prototype, I think this was enough for me to get also the, the feeling of the user interface for this sound card, which is actually uh, quite, um, quite in, um, how would say, it's hard to get so much functionality out of a synthesizer with so little buttons. But I tried, so maybe if uh, I can get the volume of this little thing up a bit. Please. Yeah. Is everything okay with volume? Okay, so we might, might have a couple of glitches, I think. As an experienced IT engineer, I think uh, turning it off and on again uh, usually works. But, uh, you know, it, it worked in the beginning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a bit technical. Is the volume on? Here we go. So basically, there are four tracks, it is playing some samples. Now I have these knobs, I didn't know, I couldn't just uh, fit them to any parameter in my mind. So I basically decided the four knobs you can turn as much as you want, but with switches you assign uh, the, the values to pitch and volume. Uh, the pitch, let me just volume down everything. Okay, so the pitch is really uh, excessive. The range is quite high, and I also made the volume range extremely high. Oh yes. So this is one boring sample. Let me get a much more interesting sample inside. There we go. So it depends a lot on what you do. For this prototype I decided for four samples, and this is quite a long phrase. And you can play with it a bit. And had some distortion. So, also add some other samples. So basically this is just a sampler. So get as much uh, freedom of expression with it as you put the samples in. And it, it has quite a limited uh, input, so pitch and volume. So I'm still uh, thinking about what I can do with this. I was thinking for, for my friend, I could have like long presses on switches so I, can, uh, so I can let her restart or pause or whatever. But uh, we'll see where that leads. I think uh, I can make a couple more and experiment. So, for the technical part, it got quite uh, hardcore. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is not an Arduino. We all know this, and uh, so I had to make my own uh, init system. This actually helps me uh, to make the Raspberry Pi behave more like an Arduino, more like an embedded device. I can just turn it off and on without worrying that something strange will happen. Ouch, sorry. Some things do happen, though. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a small part that I made and will be publishing soon to uh, GitHub and it will be accessible along with the, the serial code that is used to, uh, for the Arduino to talk to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now I have a... Now I have a small gallery of how I was making it. So basically this is the the control panel, which is quite complicated, I'll show you the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I decided on how to integrate them, played a bit, and decided that that card was simply too big and wanted to use it for a proper project with its high, high price of $30. <laughs> so, yeah, the Raspberry Pi I used in this project, I had lying around like a Raspberry Pi A. I had to unsolder its video output, hack the saw off the uh, audio, uh, plastic and 
I made this nice little box from plywood. Uh, it was really nice to work with your hands instead of just typing. So I integrated it as much as I could. Uh, it fits quite snugly. I think it's quite well done. Could have got a couple of millimeters there also. And this is the octopus. It's quite complicated, uh, but you know, you can just print one. It's not that expensive. But I decided to make my own just to see how, uh, how my skills are after all those years of not that much soldering. So it's quite modular. You can uh, turn the co uh, take the control panel out and connect it to the computer. I basically do all my development on the computer because it's easier and everything I do is portable. Embedded, Raspberry and computer. And that helps me quite a lot. And for this project, what I found most interesting is um, exploring the ways we interact with synths, I guess. I mean, it's really quite rudimentary in its design, but uh, I've had a lot of uh, ideas while making it and I'm really happy I made it. Um, so, yeah. This is it, the final, uh, the final thing. So this is my project. You can visit my page for more information. And uh, that is it. Thank you.